Look, ladies and gentlemen, we got some breaking news in the sport of boxing. I know a lot of people, you know, got took in the back when this ended up, you know, being a story. People trying to figure out how Carmel and Javante ended up a thing. You know, um, I think that's clearly easy. In my humble opinion, we're going to break it all down of what's really going on. Obviously, all of this um, tends back to go to Floyd. You know, Floyd Mayweather, I think, is the the middle ground in all of this. Um, but at the end of the day, man, Javante Tank Davis is the truth. Uh, we all know he's 29 and old, no losses, no draws, 27 wins, by the way, a knockout. Um, he has a massive fight, you know, upcoming uh, against this man down promotions own. We all know Frank the Ghost Martin. Everybody is, you know, percolating on that fight because Frank Martin, he had a lot of things going for himself. Um, but before we get into the Frank Martin um, situation, we must get into the situation with Kermel Moten. Uh, we all know young, you know, rising star, you know, connected to Floyd Money Mayweather, Mayweather Promotions. He's 3-0. and o. He's had some tremendous big fights, um, you know, that people have been captivated by. People wanted to know what's going on with Carmel. He's one of those guys, you know, that people see, you know, big, bright things for on the horizon. The kid is very young. He's 17 years old. So uh, I'm telling you, the sky is the limit for this young man. I, I just got to call it how I see it. Um, but Tank Davis has dropped Carmel Moten. Uh, from the June 15th undercard. I want to get into why this happened. Um, Javante Tank Davis, I repeat, has informed super featherweight prospect Carmel Moten that he is no longer on his June 15th card in Houston after his social media posts. Uh, Moten's um, shows support on social media for Floyd. Um, you know, so all of this happened just, if, just not too long ago. Um, what, what I will say is he came out and said Floyd Mayweather Jr. He, he supported Floyd Mayweather. He said it's the best team in boxing. Moments later, Tank responded to Moten's post, letting him know that he says that he won't be on the June 15 card either. Um, so this has sent everybody into an uproar that I believe is some kind of hate um, going on between these two fighters. Um, obviously, Javante Tank Davis, you know, um, you know, people, he, he might be looking at a, you know, uh, I wouldn't say a replica of himself, but almost looking like 2020. You know, obviously Floyd is putting the machine behind Carmel. Clearly he did the same thing for Javante. Um, and I don't know, he, he, he probably don't want to help facilitate Floyd Mayweather in getting another diamond, you understand, in the sport of boxing. You know, which I believe that he may have here with a young Carmel. Now, obviously, he has some deficiencies. I was watching Carmel Moten's last fight. Uh, he went against a tough opponent in Anthony Q, but he took him the distance. Um, a lot of people probably were surprised by that, but I wasn't. Um, I thought that Q would hit him with some tough shots. And, and Moten, you know, he's a young fighter. He got to sharpen those, those things up because um, with the right opponent, I mean, they, they could be sending him nighty night. You know, because I did see where um, Cuba, he changed um, guards on him and, and gave him a, a shot to the head. Now, um, with, a, with an opponent with knockout power, you're going to have to deal with that. But he's still young and have an opportunity to figure it out. Um, so clearly, there's some politics here in boxing. Should Carmel have just stayed out of it? Because it looked like he just would have flew under the radar. Uh, you don't see Javante coming at other Mayweather promotion fighters. Uh, clearly, you know, Roley, he already been there, handle Roley, but uh, Roley Romero is made by the promotions. You hear um, Floyd come out in defense of Roley Romero, you understand, and you don't have, you don't, you don't see Tank in, in the uproar behind that. So, I mean, it, it's really, it's a, it's a tricky situation in my humble opinion. I think it's very tricky, um, but I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. It's a sport of boxing. Um I think that Carmel did, you know, succeed, in my opinion, by being on some of these big cards. You know, you start to think about it. Um, like I said, the team, that, that card, uh, the T-Mobile Arena, 
Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think that was a Floyd. I think that was not a Floyd, but a tank card. Um, I'm trying to look at his first fight. And I, I, that fight, I think, happened after the pay-per-view. That was against Ezekiel Flores. That was September 30th. Um, let me just double check the um yeah, it wasn't it wasn't on that it wasn't on the car with, with tank. So I'm just making sure I just want to double check and make sure that these guys was never on the actual car together. Um and as I'm looking at into it, uh, it doesn't seem to be the case. Um but it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, Kermel Moten, to me, like I said, he, he's on his way. He just got to continue to listen to the tutelage of Floyd, you know, trust the people that he got with him. Um, and I don't think it's wise to get into it with a Javante. Um, clearly, I think it's got to heighten his name because Javante, I mean, come on. Uh, obviously, people look at Canelo, guys like himself um, as the face of boxing, but they, 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 their star power is so massive, it transcends boxing. You know, Carmel, you might have to be a, um, a serious boxing head to know who he is. You know, if you're not following boxing, nine times out of ten, you're not going to know who Carmel Moten is. You know, so him getting into a um, getting into a situation, you know, um, with Javante, that's going to heighten his profile. You know, and he's a young fighter, and people do know the, the similarities and, and everything, uh, how everything is just correlating, you know, and there's a lot of money involved. So it's going to be interesting to see if Floyd steps in, if they can rekindle what they got going on. So business, at the end of the day, business is, who, who's hurt by this? The fans. People want to see Kermel, um, and I think that him being next to a guy like Tank is strategic. So I could see why Tank is pulling the plug. You know, because he is getting a rub, you know, point blank period. Carmel Moten being on the card of a Javante Tank Davis is getting a rub. You understand? And if you don't know what a rub means, he, he's getting a good look, man. You know, and, and and they know that. He knows what's going on. Because if you put him on a different card, are the eyeballs going to be there? You know, but I mean, at the end of the day, he's still a young fighter. They all was in this position. Carmel has to continue to you know, just do what he's doing, and he's going to be a standalone star where he don't have to sit around tank. He don't have to do all of this. It's looking like he's going to go the Floyd route, but him and Floyd may not bump heads. You understand as much as it was with Tank. Tank, to me, looked like he wanted to run his own enterprise. And right now he's doing it. Him and Floyd is clashing. It's unfortunate, but that's what's going on. I'm going to leave it at that. This is the reason why Carmel Moten was left off of the card. Make sure you hit the like button if you're new. Most definitely hit the subscribe button. It's Flight Sports 